Hi, everybody. Okay, so today, um, keeping with our theme of seeds and plants, I wanted to read you The Amazing Life Cycle of Plants. It's written by Kay Barnum. We haven't read this one before, so you might have to watch it a couple times. The Amazing Life Cycle of Plants. Look around you. How many plants and flowers and trees and grasses can you see? Too many to count. These natural beauties grow over and over again, but how do they do it? Get ready to dig deep and find out more about the amazing life cycle of a plant. I love the dog in this book. A seed is a baby plant. It is wrapped in a shell to keep it safe until it is time to grow. There are lots of different types of seeds. Avocado stones, apple seeds, and acorns are all types of seeds. Well, look, these ones are from a dandelion. For a seed to grow, everything must be just right. There must be enough water, heat, and light, as well as the right type of soil. When the seed cracks open, roots grow down and a shoot grows up. This sunflower seed has turned into a seedling. Oh, he's watering it. And then there's it growing. The shoot grows taller and thicker. Soon it becomes the plant's stem. The stem is strong enough to support the plant as it grows bigger and more leaves appear. It also carries water and food from the roots. These will help the plant grow. Ooh, there's a spider on that leaf. The plant's leaves are very important. They take in a gas called carbon dioxide. When this gas mixes with water and sunlight, it makes a sugary food for the plant. Now, the plant has energy to grow. The leaves give out another gas called oxygen. Humans need oxygen to survive. So there's it taken in the sunlight and the um, carbon dioxide inside the leaf, changes it into a sugar substance that the leaf and the plant can use to grow. And then the plant gives us a bit of a gift too because it gives us oxygen. Once the plant is fully grown, flowers appear. First, there is a bud. Slowly, this opens to show the petals. Flowers are bright and bold. They have a strong smell. This makes it easy for bees, butterflies, and other creatures to find them. See, there's the bud and it's starting to open into the sunflower. Deep inside the flower, there's a sweet liquid called nectar. Bees use this to make honey. Insects drink it to, pardon me, give them energy. As they hunt for nectar, creatures carry pollen from flower to flower. Pollen also floats through the air and the wind. It is because of pollen that flowers make seeds. Look at all the bumblebees and the honeybees. It is important that seeds do not fall straight down. If they land in the plant's shade, the seeds won't grow because they need sunlight to grow, right? Instead, the plant scatters its seeds far and wide. When seeds travel to many different places, more of them might grow into new plants. See how they're traveling on the wind? Looks like a bit of a windy day. You can tell because there's a kite flying. Seeds scatter in different ways. The wind might blow them away. Seeds might float on the tide. Sometimes seed pods burst and fire their seeds outward. Animals scatter seeds too. When they eat fruit, the seeds hidden inside travel through the animals and out the other end. Did you know that some trees and plants need fire to survive? This giant redwood tree does not release seeds until there is a fire. The heat makes, then makes the pine cones open. Ash from the fire makes the soil the perfect place for a new tree to grow. That's interesting here. Huh? 
plants such as ferns, mosses, and algae do not grow seeds. They grow tiny round spores instead. The wind blows spores away from the plant. Some land in damp places and if other spores land nearby, a brand new plant may start to grow. I love how the dog always comes with them on their exploring trips. A plant's life cycle is the time it takes to grow from seed to flower, scatter seeds and then die. The life cycle of some plants takes just weeks. Others might live for a year. The life cycle of the Madagascar palm tree is as long as 100 years. So it takes this palm tree 100 years for the seeds to flower, scatter their seeds, and then the plant to die. My goodness, that's a long time, hey? Hey, they rode a, a really long way. They rode all the way to an island. <laughs> the life cycles of plants are very important to farmers and gardeners. Farmers need to know when to sow crops and when they will be ready to harvest. Gardeners need to know what to plant so that their gardens are colorful all year round. Oh, and then it has lots of things for people to do in the back here. Let's see, things to do. Oh, it says grow your own sunflower, collect as many different seeds as you can, uh, make a colorful word cloud. Oh, that's kind of like what we do at school. So if you put plant in the middle of the paper and then you add any other words that this word makes you think of. Alrighty, so that is this story, The Amazing Life Cycle of Plants by Kay Barnum. See you guys later.